Chances are, if you've been listening to country radio at all in the past several years, you've heard our friend, Brantley Gilbert. One of Brantley's favorite things to do each fall is to get a group of his buddies and family together and go hunting. Deer hunting and Brantley Gilbert. That is definitely going to be entertaining. Temperature's dropping, which means it's be some good hunting. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, Come on, man! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> right. right. Our fantasy football team is struggling, <laughs> but the fantasy deer team is going to do just fine this weekend. <laughs> we got this under control. Amen. Amen. First up is Brantley's cousin Shane. Michael's running the camera for him, and they are set up in an awesome spot. Well, I'm hunting with my buddy Michael Lee. And my cousin Brantley, this is our annual family bro hunting trip. And uh, we're our first morning in the blind. Weather's cool, ruts kicked in, bucks are chasing does, so we're gonna see if we can't take it outside. Shane, there's a buck behind me over here. I can't tell what it is. Oh yeah, dude, he's big. Oh yeah. in the blind with us. Man, I can't believe that. I think I put a good hit on him. Yeah, I think You think so? Yeah. Oh, man. If you had that scope, oh, that scope for him, you got it. I promise you, I took it off. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the biggest eight pointer I ever seen. Dude, that's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Oh, man, I hope I put a good hit on him. Dang. Man, I'm shaking. <laughs> good Lord. Oh man, that's a pretty eight point. Look at the mass. Got a little kicker there. We set up on that gas line this morning just watching where the, they set a bunch of does and stuff and hanging out there and butts coming across. And yeah, you sure know. Enough, he came across about got in a blind with us. Yeah, we saw a lot earlier and then it kind of got slow for a little while and then all of a sudden, here he came. He had another eight pointer behind him. They was kind of checking each other out. And, he happened just to walk out where we needed him to walk out. Right. And old 260 put the hammer down. Smoked him, man. He's been horning too. Got stuff all in the mm -hmm. brow time. Hitting them trees hard. I like that. That's good heavy eight point. Promise you, that deer, he's all over 150. Oh, yeah. He'll look good on the wall. I promise you, son. 
Well, let's get him out of here. Just another day in the backwoods life, homie. Backwoods life, lucky hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, Hawk Scope put it on him. Hawk Scope, hey, it did the trick. Old 260, never any doubt. Never any doubt. Full of confidence, baby. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it, Mike. Yes, sir. Let's go show B. I bet he'll Let's be tickled to death. He'll be tickled to death. I can't wait for him to see it, put his hands on it. Heck yeah. All right. You okay? <laughs> oh, yeah! Check it out! <laughs> hey, check this out. You got a strap hey, on that's what I want. Dude, and he's big, out wide. He's got a big, big heavy eight-pointer, man. That's I awesome. Backwoods Life is brought to you by these great companies. Hawk Optics, Prime Archery, Antler King, Branson Tractors, Hunga Munga Broadheads, and Quality Archery Designs. This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Covert Scouting Cameras. Remote cameras for hunting, wildlife watching, and security. I've got dope all over my bow. Oh, yeah. We're headed out with Brantley Gilbert. He's taking his brother-in-law Adam on this hunt. And this is not going to be a boring hunt where anybody's getting a nap because Brantley's the guide. Big boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I told you his tines. He, he carried his mass all the way up his tines. Monster. God, no, we got a little three poke right here. <laughs> Backwoods Life is also brought to you by Ozonix, 10X, Bill Jordan's Realtree, Seth McGinn's Can Cooker, and Hunter's Safety System. This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Lethal's Bug and Tick Repellent. Always lethal. Later in the year, Brantley called me up. He wanted to take one more trip before deer season was over. Six inches of snow and zero degrees. Yay. <laughs> I'm so freaking <laughs> excited right now, Brantley. Maybe. What we do? What's up, everybody? We're up and we see a good many deer. They've been seeing a bunch of deer. Um, more in the evenings and in the night, but uh, we gonna hunt both of them. And it's our first night here, so uh, we gonna settle on the end and see if we can get some bugs out here. I'm about to, uh, about to start this hunt off with a little grunt and then a little shaking range, so. Uh, It's chilly. <laughs> the forecast is for cold and colder and snow and snow here. Yeah. And, and then after that, it's gonna get colder. And colder. And, and colder. Right before dark, a couple deer come in. There's one nice buck. Brantley decided he wanted to video me today. I don't know how this is going to turn out. You ready? He's going down right there. <laughs> Just shot one. He's he freaking smoked him. Too. <laughs> Almost run under the stand right here and fell right outside the door. It's like six degrees today, ten or whatever. We've got a couple inches of snow, more snow coming tonight. And we had a group of deer come in, had this buck in it. It was a doe, it was a rack, broke a uh, buck with a broke off rack. And uh, mm -hmm. hunting in the snow is fun. It was, it's easier to see. I think I may be more nervous than you. <laughs> Bradley was sitting with me. And that uh, was awesome. I had him in my binoculars. And I keep blood was like running at me. <laughs> I need my blood pressure medicine. <laughs> yes, sir. Dude, that's awesome. And he's dead. I think he right. literally right. thought he was going to fall on the bottom of the stand. <laughs> Where's he at? <laughs> I hunt with a hunter safety system. Maybe old Brantley needs to go buy him a parachute. Michael really needs to be a little more responsible whenever he's chaperoning a platinum recording artist to the hunting woods. Come on. What? He's right there. Right there. Right there. He Dude, that deer's body is way bigger than I thought he was. You and me both, brother. I thought, I mean, he's, he's 250 pounds. Easy. I thought he was uh, a little bit smaller. But look at this guy. Look at this guy. 
How about that? Look at the mass, man. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I call him a 12B. Shoot you, brother. Is that, that's a triple brow. Yeah, he's got old turkey foot going on. <laughs> In the sick, snow, man. dude. Look at this crap. Some fresh powder. <laughs> he is cool. Late season. This daggum January is cold. And we got one. First afternoon of sitting in six degrees. Six degrees? Yeah. Oh, are you serious about that? Yeah. I thought I thought you were I was gonna me. say seven, but this finger fell off. <laughs> it's that cold. It's so cold right now. But me and my brother Brantley have done had a heck of a season. We've had a lot of fun. And I know uh, we take for granted sometimes that we can go hunting when we want to and do that. And there's a lot of people that can't. We're blessed to do what we get to do. I promise you that. We're thankful for it. We don't take it for granted. And uh, it's just uh, special to be out here with your friends and family. And we just had a heck of a last couple of seasons. So anyway, for lack of being all philosophical and emotionalizing, we never have a dull moment. <laughs> Ever. We have fun, and that's what hunting's about. If you're not having fun, if you're worried about the size of the rack only, you got a problem. You got issues. So go hunting, have fun with your fam, with your friends, because uh, there's a bunch of people out there that don't want us to do this. That's right. And we don't like them a whole lot. Backwoods Life is also brought to you by Knockout Lighted Knox, Garmin, Rugged Cross Blinds, Spot Hog, Ghost Blind, True Lock Chokes, Victory Archery, and Lacrosse Footwear. This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Shiver Carts, your authorized easy go and bad boy dealer in Tifton and Valdosta, Georgia. So far, we've got three big old bucks down, and I don't think Brantley's gonna be left out. It's his turn. It's snowing like I'll get out, and somehow it got colder. I didn't think it was possible. So Brantley shoots this buck, we watch him fall. We're gonna go do a recovery and Brantley decides he wants to walk across the frozen pond. Now I'm responsible. Platinum recording artist. Falls through into a pond and freezes to death on my watch. A lot of pressure. Uh -oh. Oof. Uh -huh. Do we wanna go that way or go around? That deer's right there. Oh, 
away. Bram, what you got, son? Check it out, dog. That's a good deer. Dude, I like that deer. He got character, typical. That deer is crazy over there. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about, his weird point. I got you. Check him out. Dude, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Shoot, huh? He's massive. Dude, that's a cool deer. Yeah, he is good. Oh, that's a pretty deer. That's what I'm talking about. When you have a small window of time to hunt, like Brantley does, it's always extra special to be able to hunt with your family and friends. As hunters, we need a whole lot more people just like Brantley Gilbert out there showing everybody just how much fun this whole hunting thing is. You guys get settled in high. First up is Brantley Gilbert's cousin Shane. Woo! That's a wrap until we recover. Hey, if you want some, you're gonna get all what? Come on, Wendy. We're coming to the National Guard Armory Friday night, 9 p.m. 